Okay, so what I have is a little bit of fondant here and I wanna make it into a modeling paste. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Tylos to it. Give it strength, let it dry a little bit faster. Uh, you don't need much, it's like, I don't know, half a teaspoon to a cup or a teaspoon to a pound or something, I don't know. It doesn't take much. The more you add, the longer it sits, the firmer it gets. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit in here. Uh, back when my son did this, uh, he's 20 now and he was nine when he originally did it. So when he originally did it, they didn't have Tylos or CMC and they had just come out with pre-made fondant. So he didn't have to make his own fondant. So he just used it straight, but he did have quite a bit of breakage as I seem to recall. He's a patient kid though. I, don't know, I wouldn't have. <laughs> I think I'd need the Tylos. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, now we've got that kneaded in. Again, if you've got a pasta machine, you just want the same thickness all the time, but I don't, I don't particularly have one, so with me right here. So we're gonna just use the, the, little, the little rolling pin guides. If you've got little, the rings that go on your, a big rolling pin, then you can use those. Anything to get that thickness fairly even. Okay. So what we're gonna do is roll it out. Should have a non-skid underneath my mat here. Make sure you want to keep lifting it up so it doesn't stick. I'm using cornstarch to keep it from sticking. Okay, so I've got that nice, this is about an eighth of an inch thick. You do want to make it firm. Um, so it's going to need to stand up on his own. So I am going to make him, you know, he's fairly thick. But what we've got going on here is you take the piece and you're just gonna lay it on and with a Zacto knife or something sharp, you're gonna go around. You can see how a nine-year-old can do this. You just traced around here. And you just trace around each piece. Oops, there we go, and get his eye. Okay, now the one thing you need to remember is that these pieces are gonna kinda go into each other. They're going to um, hook into each other, and so you need to be careful when you do the parts that hook in, in these slots right here, okay? So when I do it, I pretty much just Watch the font and it moves a little bit. There we go. And I use the piece to help me out. I actually normally make this just a little bit bigger than this piece here. Because I don't want any problems with it going in. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, because this is the thickness I rolled my font my other piece is going to be about that thick. So I actually would put it in there and make absolutely sure that that slot is the thickness of this so that I know my other fondant piece is going to slide in there without a problem. And you're going to set it aside and let it dry. Notice I've smoothed the top down, but any part that, that I don't get smooth, we can always smooth later on. So again, you just take your piece, trace around, and you need to trace every single one of these pieces. And it really doesn't take too long to do. And it's nice because you can do it ahead of time. You can make this, you know, several weeks ahead of when you're going to need it. Okay. So here I have my piece. Again, the slots where the other pieces are going to fit into. And then again, I want to make sure that this is, these slots are plenty wide to fit that. Okay, I'm going to continue cutting all these pieces out and then I'm going to let them dry overnight.